Meanwhile, with rain in the forecast, oh, we need a bunch. The question is whether it will actually help fill our lakes and get those record low levels off the lows and back up. Right. Well, 6 News reporter Sydney Deshawn spoke with experts about what it's going to take to get out of drought and just how much rain we need to see normal lake levels. Sydney, Chris and Lindsay, it could take above average rainfall for several weeks and potentially months to see higher lake levels, or it could take flooding and destruction. It could be kind of a rude awakening. As more people move to central Texas, they are experiencing their first taste of drought season, meaning lake levels are dropping by the minute. Lakes Belton and still has hollow are continuing to see record low lake levels, um, you know, based on the period of record going back to um, for Lake Stillhouse Hollow, the, the late 60s and for Lake Belt in the early 70s. We are dropping about 2,000 acre feet a day. To see normal lake levels. And it's going to take a lot of rain uh, for weeks and potentially months uh, to start to see water flow into these reservoirs. And water experts say only a major event could act as the true drought buster we need. The last time the drought was broken, it took two hurricanes and no high pressure heat dome over us. In the meantime, conserving water is more crucial than ever. If we run out of water, we can't just truck it in. This is worse than an ERCOT situation, but that is where we're headed. People have got to stop worrying about their lawn. Your lawn will come back, but you need to worry about turning on your faucet. Look at the drought and say, okay, this drought could go on for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and start conserving water. Now, keep in mind, most of central Texas cities are under stage two water restrictions. This means a 10% reduction in water use, guys. Oh, it, Sydney, yeah, that was ominous. Sounds yes. like they told you don't wait to be told to conserve. Exactly. Go ahead and just start conserving. Mm -hmm. All right, we got the message, Sydney. Thanks.